guys, I'm back today with a quick video just to show a couple of mistakes I made on this card and how I fixed them. I feel like it turned out really well. So I started off with Arches watercolor paper and stamped two images that I was going to put in the back of the tailgate of this little truck here from Honeybee. So the first one, you can already see the first mistake, is that I stamped, um, I'd previously stamped this in a dark ink and I had wiped it off, but apparently not well enough. So you can see the difference in the image that's barely visible on the left and the one that is not even. And um, you can see a lot of darker lines in it because the black ink that I had on it didn't come off. So I decided I would not use that one, but I always stamp multiple images just to give myself some options, especially when I have a little piece of paper like this. It's kind of a scrap. Um, and so my goal for this was to watercolor with um, my Brush Marker Pros. So I've used the color red and the color Cerise and I put it out on my Tim Holtz mat and I'm adding water with my watercolor brushes from Altenew. I'm using the fine tip and trying to add as little water as possible. But you can tell that I get a little bit too much water on this, um, how it's starting to fade into the other image. I should have blotted and restarted, but I don't know if I just didn't notice or I thought I could fix it by darkening the shadows in those areas, um, but it did not work in the end, you will see. I've definitely had too much water. So as I color this, we'll go over a couple things that I could have done here. One thing that I think would have made this easier to color and not have those darker lines on the edge or the fading like this would be less water, but also to consider stamping this image um, with Versamark ink and then um, doing maybe a clear embossing. You probably could get away with a white embossing or a silver pearl. Those embossed lines a lot of times will help you stay where you need to, so it's not fading outside those lines. It still can if you put too much water, but it tends to keep you in the lines a little bit better. I did not do this because I was trying out the jellyfish ink um, with this watercolor, and I'd already used jellyfish ink on the main part of the truck, so I thought this would be fine. But when you're doing these detailed images, it really is nice to have that little ridge that embossing creates. So you'll see me, I'm gonna continue coloring this, thinking that I can save it. And in all reality, probably I could have used it if I wasn't a little bit of a perfectionist. The other problem I run into with this is that I don't know what to do with the lines for the balloons. So the lines for balloons are also stamped in this really light color. And I go back and forth trying to decide, should I just use some watercolor over those lines? Should I use one of my um, pens, my black pens that will stand up to this water? And you'll see that I go and try to decide what to do with that. Um, I'm also still trying to fill in these hearts in pink and red to get myself a final look. I usually don't give up on a piece until I have gotten all the way to finishing it just to see what I could do. It's possible I could have um, gone on and stamped it in a darker color and saved this for another card, but I was determined, I was a little short on crafting time to make this image work. All right, so we'll continue coloring this. The other thing that I realized after I'd finished this is that I really did not do enough blotting of the colors in between. I tried to color um, balloons that weren't beside each other to try to let one dry, but I did this all at the same time. And what I should have done is blotted any excess water with a paper towel and probably dried each heart with a heat tool. That would have made a difference in how wet things were and if they were wicking. I think in this one, I already knew that I was going to have to do something else after I messed up the first heart up there on the top right. And I just kept on working at it, hoping I could improve it, but I think I just made it worse. So you'll see me go back in and I've got to decide how I'm going to make these balloon strings. With these, you could leave them light colored like this, but it just seemed like it was leaving something hanging there. So I decided I would go back in with a black marker and draw them. 
And when I was doing this, I noticed that there is a line that goes over one of the balloons. I am not sure if that's a line from my stamping or if that was a balloon string that just kind of overlaps another one. I ended up making it a balloon string with my black marker and I was kind of sorry I did that. It seems a little strange and I know that the recipient of this card is probably not going to notice that but I just wasn't sure. You'll see this line right here. Hold on. That one. The next image shows as I start doing some Nouveau drops. This first one is Red Berry. I also end up using Bubblegum Blush and the Dream Drops in Cloud Nine. You, you'll notice on the final picture that the Dream Drops actually look slightly pink because they're picking up some of that watercolor, but I like the effect. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you get a chance to subscribe, I'd really appreciate it.